How the Dengue Mosquito or the Aedes aegypti lives and how to eliminate them. Hello, I'm Doc Pam and your pediatrician is in today. On the first videos of our Dengue Fever series, we have learned the Dengue Fever symptoms, how to know the early warning signs before the worst. We have to know this because Dengue with warning signs can develop into severe Dengue in as short as 1 to 2 days. And Dengue Severe has a fatal complication. So if you want to know more about the Dengue Fever symptoms and the Dengue warning signs, feel free to watch it and share it. I have provided a link on the description box below. If you do share it and others will watch it, you will help me increase dengue awareness. That way, we can help to decrease dengue cases in our area. Do you know why there is an increase in dengue cases during the rainy season? This has got to do with the life cycle of Aedes aegypti, the vector responsible for the transmission of dengue. And this is what we're going to discuss on this video. I've learned an alarm alarming fact about the mosquito responsible for the transmission of dengue. An Aedes aegypti mosquito egg can withstand extreme weather, be it so hot like the Sahara Desert or so cold like in the Antarctic. It can withstand those weathers and can last up to 8 months. However, when this egg touches water, it will hatch at once. It will then turn into a larvae, the one that you see when you touch a stagnant water and there are wrigglers or wigglers turns into a pupae or tumblers. Those pupae can turn into an adult mosquito in as short as two days. And this adult mosquito will bite as long as it lives. It will bite because it needs the blood to lay its eggs. This adult laying mosquito will lay its egg on any collection of water. Whether that collection of water be in a tiny cup, in the leaves of the plant, on uncovered barrels where water is stored, or any tin cans with water in it, whether this collection of water also is inside of your home. It would only take 8 to 10 days for an egg to turn into an adult mosquito. A single mosquito lays eggs three times in its 14 days lifetime and it can lay around 100 eggs per broody. More breeding places in our area means more mosquitoes that can possibly transmit dengue once infected. Decreasing the chance of us getting infected with the dengue virus involves us also getting rid of this vector. The World Health Organization, in connection with the Department of Health, has launched the 4S strategy. First S, search and destroy the source. Two, seek early medical consultation once dengue is suspected. Three, use self-protective measures. And number four, say yes to fogging only during outbreak. For the DOH adaptation, mag 4S tayo. Unang S, suyurin at sirain ang pinamumugaran ng mga lamok. Pangalawa, Wang S, sarili ay protektahan laban sa lamok. Pangatlo, sumangguni agad sa pagamutan kapag may simptomas na ng dengue. Pangapat na S, sumuporta sa fogging, spraying kapag may bantana ng outbreak. What are the ways we can do to decrease the cases of dengue? Let us look for any pools of water around our area, especially after rain. Or better still, remove these containers. That way, breeding places for the mosquitoes will be destroyed. Let us also do regular cleaning of the gutters in our houses and our surroundings. Cover storage barrels of water and regularly change the water in our vases. Symptoms to consider when we suspect dengue are fever for two days with abdominal pain, vomiting. For small babies, there is usually poor oral intake or body weakness and irritability as well as decreased activity. And especially if there is a dengue outbreak or there are dengue cases in the community, make sure that you should consult early with your pediatrician. What are ways on how we can protect ourselves? This would include wearing long sleeves or pants, especially before dark and just before break of day where the mosquitoes usually come out. Use of mosquito net when sleeping or installing screen on your doors or windows. And again, Say yes to fogging or spraying during outbreak. 
we know of ways on how we can eradicate dengue? If you do, please do comment below. For in-depth discussion on how to protect ourselves from dengue, aside from cleaning our surroundings, do click on the link on the description box below. This is Doc Pam, your pediatrician. Remember that a healthy child today will likely become a healthy adult in the future. See you on the next video.